Hey guys, welcome to a new video. So, today I just wanted to see if this code raiding thing would work. And it does, um, somewhat. I tried doing this base here, as you can see. And it didn't go to plan. I tried 80 odd times, and I was only able to get a guest code for this door. Which gets me a car. Uh, there's no loot inside the car because he's actually selling these cars, so saves me some scrap because I think he's selling them for, yeah, 350 scrap. So that's not too bad. Oh my god. But yes, I was only able to get the guest code for that. Um, if I was more patient, I'd have been able to get inside the base, but I have a feeling there's no loot in here anyway, because it's just a shop. So I'm going to tell you how to do it. Um, I did find this from another YouTuber, so... Hopefully he doesn't think I'm stealing, I'll credit him here. But, so basically, what you do is there's a website that tells you how to, like, what, what the most popular codes are, which I'll link in the description as well. So you use that, and then put quite a few bags around here. I put four down. There should be one down, down there. You know, I just placed them outside so that they didn't interfere with each other. And then, if you just start code raiding, at the back here, or, well, well, it doesn't matter, what, wherever. <laughs> and then, when you die, just spawn in one of them bags. I put four bags down, because that was enough, enough bags to get me, to get me the, uh, to try a few codes, die, respawn, and then get some more codes done before the next bag timer had done. So... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you're more patient, you can get through a lot more doors. I tried about 86 times before... I mean, no, no. 40 odd times it got me for this door. I did another 80 odd times in the back, and yeah, I just couldn't. I couldn't do it at all, so... Let me know what you thought about this. Thanks for watching.